Welcome back. It's nice to oh, see man. you. If I'm late for muster one more time. Captain Kells is gonna have me do a hundred push-ups. <laughs> All right, we need to build the electromagnetic actuators, which we are going to do right here, right now. And then we can go ahead and we can speak to Proctor Ingram. Proctor, that's all four actuators. Delivered and done. Nice work. Right on schedule. I've completed the restoration of Prime's basic functions and he's ready to go. In fact, it's getting difficult to explain to the system why it can't move right now. Well, as soon as my scribes get those actuators in place, we'll have his arms and legs installed in no time. Which brings me to your next assignment. It won't be long before Prime can walk and talk, but he's missing one last important element. His nukes. Without them, his offensive systems aren't operating at peak capacity. What's Prime armed with? Prime has two weapon systems, his eye laser and his nuke pack. The eye laser can target a hostile from hundreds of yards out and take it down with pinpoint accuracy. His nukes are modified Mark 28 nuclear bombs. They used to drop the things from bombers during the war. Just one of the nukes is equivalent to about three or four fat man shells. Basically, whatever it hits isn't getting up again. His eye laser is almost ready to go, but without nukes to load into his pack, he's fighting at less than half his capability. Shouldn't be a problem. Just tell me where they are. I wish I could. Prime's bomb pack is fitted for Mark 28 nuclear bombs. The same type of bombs that were dropped from aircraft during the Great War. The Commonwealth was a major staging area for the military's air force, so we assumed we wouldn't have trouble finding them. But since we arrived, our scouting teams haven't located a single bomb. That's going to be a problem. Without a fully loaded nuke pack, Prime won't have the firepower to take on the Institute. Can I build the nukes like I built the actuators? I could build you a thousand nuke casings, right now. But we've got nothing to put inside them. The Mark 28s have a specialized nuclear payload that requires the correct balance of fissile materials in order for them to detonate properly. In other words, I'd love to mix your cocktail, but I'm all out of liquor. But before you give up hope, there's actually a silver lining here. Proctor Quinlan has located some records regarding a military installation, which was used as a nuclear weapons storage facility. We're fairly certain this included a stockpile of the Mark 28s. The catch is that the installation is located somewhere within the glowing sea. I'll head out there immediately. Good, because that's exactly what we're asking you to do. Scribe Halen's established a communications point on the frontier of the glowing sea. I suggest you head out there first and establish a signal protocol with her so that the nukes can be airlifted out once you've located them. Hopefully, by the time you've returned, we'll be ready to wake Prime up, and you can say hello. Good luck, Knight. It's good to see you again, Knight. You've come a long way since you stumbled into Cambridge Police Station. How have things been over there? Pretty well, actually. We've had the occasional synth attack. But so far, we've been able to keep them from overrunning us. Thanks to the reinforcements and the air support, I'd say that site was secure. What about those feral ghouls? Are they still a problem? With a vertebrate at our disposal? Not a chance. Anyway, I know you don't have time for small talk, so I'll get right to it. I've had the men set up the equipment we'll need to pinpoint you once you've found the bombs. We've rigged up this distress pulser to emit a unique tone that we'll be listening for. When you find the bombs, plant the pulser. And we'll handle the rest. After that, you should probably head back to Proctor Ingram and bring her your report. Doesn't sound too difficult. Oh, no. Not at all. You're only heading back into the most inhospitable place in the entire Commonwealth. Look, I know you've been through the Glowing Sea before, but remember to keep an eye on your Geiger counter. If you don't, the radiation will cook you from the inside out. Good luck, Knight. Can't talk right now. Gotta clean them.
this facility is more than just bomb I always try to remember to stop and look for all of the loot. Especially magazines and such like that. There are a lot of goodies in this place. One of them is due to a mod. Beyond that, I think, well, and the fact that the goals are a little different. But I think pretty much the rest of it here is vanilla. But there is a, a nice set of armor in here that is from a mod. And that is the X02 power armor, but we'll pick that up while we're here. I'd love to know where Dance went to. Do a little save, just in case I get crashy. <laughs> you gotta hate it when your computer just decides that it's gonna start lagging and decides it might get crashy. All right, yeah, these are force locked. Gotta take off the force lock. To do that, I need to cancel the launch sequence or abort it. There we go. Now we've got the doors open. see much in this room. I don't want to take that elevator yet. That takes us back up. I think. Maybe I'm wrong. But I know it. I think it takes me up. Um, there is a gun here though. Blast from the past. Legendary weapon. That's nice. Okay, I like that. That was a nice find. <laughs> How lucky was that? Ba -ba -ba. Bag of cement. I don't want to be carrying that around in here. 
here. Could you imagine just wandering around with bags of cement over your shoulder? Hmm. Why is it so quiet in here? I don't like this. Oh, that's never the right thing to say, Dance. You never say it's quiet. It's like working in a hospital. You never say it's quiet. Oh, Dance. Now you're going to wake this whole place up. to shoot him a couple times just in case. It's the only safe way to check these bodies. They'll get up and try and eat me. And not in a good way either. I mean in a very bad way. With teeth. It involves teeth. your head they'll tell you what to do in life instead of everything you know that you could get and there we let go. them guide your life to regret i'll fight for what i love with every breath my past is filled with things i won't forget i use them all to push me to my best so treat the worst of times just like a test if only I could go back in time I Child tell myself that everything will end mm. up alright Just push yourself, test yourself, figure out what you like and Find your limits, don't be rigid, always work towards a prime Surround yourself with open minds, well people done. can change your life A few <laughs> friends with intent I mean, you would can help you feel alive you guys, Find a passion, so take some action, and with a little time wife. Just be patient, make a statement, try to enjoy your life They'll try to kick you while you're down they want to rise up while you drown They want to fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out I'll make it look like I'm losing Won't bother hiding uh -oh. I'm <laughs> And when they find you think you're oh, no. Then it's your chance to be ruthless You dance. Look at you getting supper. They don't want to see me make it. They don't want to see me care. Anytime I make some progress, I can see that they compare. I think everyone's against me. Maybe oh, so happy I can go in the mall right there. I'm paranoid. I swear a void is born. Not that there's anything in there. Just always wanted to go into one of those small assholes. You better pray that I don't see your face at any place that I go. I know you hate that. I've been doing fine I'm not wasting any more time I live for the fight and the climb And I think that the pain that's deep inside Is what defines Oh my, we found a heart Oh, and that's how It's in my way, I swear I'm never gonna stop I could fall flat on my face and I swear I won't give up Cause I don't deserve a thing It's a way to get the time
I get swarmed left by really tough ghouls and he's just like, yeah, check them. Never know what you find. Big Daddy Dance. Always got your back. tighter quarters here and if a ghoul jumps up we got a little less space for maneuvering and what were they doing with a death claw hand in here that's interesting This one's just called Corpse. It's obviously a child of Adam, so why? They don't even get, like, acknowledgement. <laughs> what did they do wrong? <laughs> they must have made somebody mad. They are simply Corpse. <laughs> Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. Secret door. All right. We are inside. And I can immediately hear Ghoul. You can hear it there. It's breathing or moaning or something, it's making noise. That's the only thing I'm entirely sure of, is that it's making noise. All right, we've got a door here. Look at all this. Hmm. Lots of treats. Got a helmet and a uniform laid out here. With a clothing iron. Very heavy dumbbells. We've got eyeglasses with an overdue book. I would say it's overdue. Majorly overdue. Not that anyone's gonna care or you're gonna incur any late charges. But still. Baseball glove and mat. Very cool. All right, dance. We're done in this room. Come along. There's someone out here waiting to say hello to us. Probably in the most rude way possible. 
Look at all these nukes. Look at them all. And there it is. Feral ghoul. Ta-da! A fuse box. Look. I can't do anything with it. I don't know what's going on. Alright, but I, I found a door and I hear more ghoul. There is more ghoul down here. Yep, here they come. That ghoul opened a door. I, I feel like, well, if their brains are rotten, how are they opening doors? Do you know what I'm saying here? Maybe it isn't totally rotten yet on that one. And that's what's going on. Mm, fusion cores are always welcome. So is Radix. It's a camera, some glue. Good work. Don't leave anything behind. Why, thank you, sir. Oh, look at the tank. Got a tank beside me. Ooh. Cool. Huh. I don't see anything back there. Looks like someone scuttled some power armor here. Or it just got... just Like, it's just a frame, so it, maybe it's just buried in rubble. I don't know. Alright, that ammo was being difficult. And into here we go. Mm -mm -mm. I'm taking my time because I want to make sure I get everything. Red Roach. Ba ba, there's mint hats. Shoe Roach, don't bother me. Ooh, it's a terminal. Uh, malfunction. Somebody was eating in here. Rad roaches. Someone was cutting rad roach meat. Huh. I wonder who was in here. Probably one of those people that turned into a ghoul. Like a safe. It's got pre-war money in it. Yummy. Not that I'm going to eat it. I mean yummy in another way. Like, yummy as in, I'm happy that I got it. Because it's good, because I can use it to buy things. This door Busted. isn't accessible. But this one is open. Hold up. It's a rad roach, sir. It'll be okay. Oh my. Very aggressive. Well done. And this. This. This makes me happy. XO2 power armor. And a crap load of fusion cores. Some of them are depleted, but I just usually take them all. Ba 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 ba. Just take them all. So many, so many fusion cores. Party. I'm gonna have to get Dance to help me carry it home. But well worth the taking. That's for sure. I, you know, I, you can't take, I can't take the, the frame because I'm wearing power armor. But, uh, that's okay. Ooh, grilled rad roach. Okay, someone was in here recently cooking. Like, but who? Maybe more children of Adam. And they didn't take the armor. That's what's amazing. They didn't take the armor. Someone was in here cooking and they were like, Ah, I don't want 
I don't want XO2 power armor. I don't trust anybody that doesn't want power armor. I mean, I get it, you know, if you want to be all sneaky and ninja-like, it's a little hard to do that in power armor. But, I just... Like, I'm not saying you have to wear it all the time, but if you don't even want it, then, like, I just feel like... I just feel like there's something inherently wrong with you as a person. I'm just... I'm trying not to judge, but I'm judging. You understand? Like, I don't want to judge you, but I am judging you. Because... It's frickin' XO2 power armor. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't, you don't leave power armor. You just, you, you just don't. You just don't do it. All right, we're through. And we're back from our little side quest here. So we just go back around and continue on with the main quest. Oh, tools. He just popped out to say hello. Oh, hey. Where did you come from, sir? Did you come from the wall, too? Yeah, they, they just all climbed right out of there. My goodness, this is a big one. Look at this. They got a mole rat back here. Huh. Interrupted dinner. That we did. Very well. Oh, I remember this part. There's another horde of... I think there's another horde. I mean, could be wrong. Could be... Could be just some form of PTSD from the last horde. Alright, there are a couple ways to go. We went right... Our right, anyway. Okay, and here we are. So, oh no, my memory is getting me. All right, why are these guys all dead when I haven't even been in here? Something has occurred here. Also, why is the door up there? Why is it... Is it blocked? I don't think I've ever seen that before. What do I do? Because I have to get into that room. No, it's not blocked. There we go. Okay. It looked like for a minute, it looked like it was blocked. And I thought, well, how am I going to get in there if it's blocked? Okay, but it's not. So it, all, all is well. It's going to be okay. State your purpose, stranger. You walk on Atom's hallowed ground. Who's Atom? Atom is all. He is the bringer of light, the great divider. He is the infinite worlds within all of us. I'm looking for some bombs. Nuclear bombs. The children of Atom have sworn to guard this place until the time of the Great Divide. None shall enter. What's this Great Divide? One day, Atom will return, and his touch upon the Earth will bring the Great Divide. His glow will spread, it will illuminate, and it will birth infinite worlds from within us all. Trust me, I'm on your side here. I want to help you out. Atom has no need of help from non-believers. 
When he returns to us, these relics will carry his word and his glory to all corners of the Earth. That is why they must be safeguarded. This man is obviously delusional. I recommend we switch tactics. I want to spread his, uh... his glory. Look, the bombs will get used, okay? Isn't that what you want? Perhaps then I have misjudged you. If you would see these relics used, then Atom's will is done. Take this, and prepare to enter his inner sanctum. Follow the brilliance of the glow, and it shall lead you to the relics. May Atom's radiance warm your soul. Well then, Adam's Wrath. Aren't you pretty? Ooh, a hollow tape. This is Captain Mitch Dunleavy, 132nd Engineering Corps at Sentinel Site Prescott. All lines of communication are down, and we're tracking multiple inbounds on radar. Sweet. This is a drill. We need confirmation immediately. Always deactivate the turrets. This is an announcement from your local friendly Brotherhood person. Yeah. That's, that's me. Well, I am more friendly than the rest of them, that's for sure. But you know, they're all, they're all meatheads, they're army. Prime's weapon of choice. Paladin. Now that this site's been secured, you should return to the airport immediately. I'll remain on watch until the vertebrates arrive. these things falling into the wrong hands. Exactly. I'll meet you aboard the Pridwin as soon as these bombs are counted, tested, and loaded. Outstanding work, Knight. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to drop the radar beacon for Mala, the robot, to come in here to gather up the stuff we need, which isn't the nuclear bombs, so that won't bother the Brotherhood. So now I gotta go find the spot. Yeah, I have to do it in a very specific spot. We are back home, and I am getting my XO2 armor ready. I am ready to go. This is 
party. I'm putting Brotherhood of Steel markings on it though, so I'm sure that'll... That'd really piss off the Enclave. <laughs> I've, I've got Brotherhood of Steel markings on their armor. So pretty though, right? Excuse me, Proctor Ingram. Looks like the Mark 28s are gonna do the trick. That was a good find. I'll work with your team to ensure that Prime's bombs remain stable after they're loaded into his pack. It won't be too much of a problem. Well, Dr. Lee, I have to admit, we couldn't have done this without you. <laughs> it's a little early to begin celebrating, Proctor Ingram. We haven't fully thrown the switch on Liberty Prime, and I'm just hoping all the work I've done to keep his system stable are gonna hold. I have full confidence in everyone's abilities here. I appreciate that. Proctor, all the readouts look green. Take I think it's down. time for you to perform the power shunt. It's a paladin zombie. It's Vazquez. It's paladin Vazquez. And he had a journal. Boston. 11 March. 2163, private journal. Is that 20? I can't read the date. This is Paladin Wayne Vasquez from the Brotherhood of Steel. Under my command are Senior Knights Harris, Murphy, Hayes, Knight Lewis, and Scribe Sanders. At the order of Elder John Maxon, after weeks of travel, today we arrive to this land forgotten by God. Our main goal is to check on how this region fared after the war. And... Search for signs of the Enclave. We haven't met any hostile soldiers, which is a good sign, but our actual results of the travel aren't too good, as our Brotherhood scribes supposed this region is still highly radiated, which means it's not a good place to create an outpost. I hope tomorrow we can continue the travel. Our next goal is Concord. The night is falling fast tonight. We're going to stay at the... At the where? Ruins of an old airport. Boston 18, March 2163. Today we've been patrolling the area around the airport. There is no sign of any living soul. Everything seems to be long time abandoned. For days we haven't met single person. Maybe in the ruins of Boston we'll find someone. Our supplies are almost finished. We also desperately need to find some rat away. Night Lewis Starts to suffer from radiation poisoning. If we don't help him in time, might need to make a hard decision about leaving him to a certain death to continue our mission. Boss 19. I'm s Boston. <laughs> it's Boston 19 March. I'm starting to worry about Lucas. He says he feels fine and we can move, but I'm not the only one who doesn't believe him. He is drastically losing weight. Scribe. Scribe Sanders stayed with him while I go with Harris, Murphy, and Hayes to the town. This situation wasn't one we were supposed to find ourselves in. The town was empty. We can entered a few buildings and checked around, but we didn't see anyone or find anything useful. There weren't even geckos or rats. Nothing. It's as if something is wrong with this place.
And there is. Well, there was. Boston, 20th of March. We are not alone. We heard howls last night. Night Murphy, Hayes, and I patrolled the area, but we found nothing. The condition of Night Lewis is hard to hide. Most of the time, he lies unconscious. The only positive is he is managing to keep water down. With the rest of the team, we've decided to stay here for a while and... See how the situation with Lucas is going to resolve. It's against our orders, but we owe that to him. Although, this stagnation isn't good for anyone. Two towns left to chart before we can head back to California. My people are tired and I can't blame them. Boston, 22nd of March. Knight Murphy didn't return. From guard last night. Myself, Harris, and Hayes looked for him, but without luck. I saw their doubtful looks while I told Scribe Lucia we were going to find him. Of course we will not. We didn't find his gun or any signs of a fight, which means he probably deserted. And about Lucas? There isn't any hope for him. It's hard to watch the death of a friend and not be able to do anything to help him. Harris and I have decided to end his pain tonight. That's very sad. Forgive us, friend. Boston, the 23rd of March. Knight, Lu Knight Lucas Lewis left us last night. He was only 21. We used our small folding shovels and dug him a shallow grave just outside our temporary base camp here. In just a few days, I've lost two people. This is our last night in this cursed place. Tomorrow we head out to the town of Concord. Boston, 24th of March. Last night, Lucia came on to me while I was on guard duty. She has been acting strange. I pushed her back, but she scratched my hand in fury and ran away. I sent Harrison Hayes to find her. Stupid bitch. Like, we don't have enough problems. I've checked our supplies, a few cans of food and bottles of water. If we won't leave this place, we'll start to starve. I hope Concord has not been... Oh, it was. Oh, but it was. Completely looted clean like this place. Boston, 25th of March. My hand where that bitch scratched me is starting to rot. I'm rotting while alive, for God's sake. The bitch has to be infected. While we've been on patrol, she spent days with Lewis. I need to dig up Lucas's grave and make sure. If I turn into one of those rotting creatures. Yeah, that's a pretty grim uh, thing to, to have to look forward to. God, I don't even want to think about it. I've told Hayes and Harris we can't leave till we find Scribe Sanders. Boston, 27th of March. I took guard duty tonight and went out to the grave site of Lucas. His grave? It was empty. I heard noises behind my back and swung fast with my shovel. It was Hayes. I didn't have any t chance to recognize him. Why the hell was he creeping up behind me, unannounced? The shovel buried deep into his neck. I knew he was gone, seeing the fountains of blood spewing from his neck in the moonlight. It took only seconds before he slumped to the ground with a wet gurgle. I pushed his corpse into the empty grave and went down to the sea to wash myself. Now only me and Harris remain. The infection in my hand is creeping up my arm. I'm going to have 
three, maybe four days before I die. Or before he'll kill me. Why did Hayes follow after me? Did they suspect something or notice that disgusting smell coming up from my hand? I don't want to die not like that. Boston, 28th of March. I've killed him. I've failed everyone. My friends, my team, the Brotherhood, my transformation progresses. Progresses. All that is left is a pathetic existence, which I deserved. I feel disgusted in myself. All supplies are gone, and the only things left are the corpses of my dead brothers. I can feel a dark hunger growing inside me. I should destroy my notes, but I can't do it. I'll keep them as long as I live to remind me about my friends and my defeat. This was Paladin Wayne Vasquez from Brotherhood of Steel. That is so sad. Looks like the Mark 28s are going to do the trick. That was a good find. I'll work with your team to ensure that Prime's bombs remain stable after they're loaded into his pack. It won't be too much of a problem. Well, Dr. Lee, I have to admit, we couldn't have done this without you. It's a little early to begin celebrating, Proctor Ingram. We haven't fully thrown the switch on Liberty Prime, and I'm just hoping all the work I've done to keep his system stable are going to hold. confidence in everyone's abilities here. I appreciate that. Proctor, all the readouts look green. I think it's time for you to perform the power shunt. Actually, I think I'm going to let you press the button. After all, without your help, we'd still be staring at a pile of disassembled parts. It would be better if a trained technician performed that task, but I suppose you deserve to be the one to do it. She is just so pleasant. Liberty Prime, back online. All right, let's run a basic diagnostic on him. Diagnostic command accepted. Give him a moment. He needs to adjust to his new configuration. Voice module online. Audio functionality test initialized. Designation Liberty Prime, Mark II. Mission, the liberation of Anchorage, Alaska. Primary targets, any and all red Chinese invaders. Now let me run a system analysis and a battle readiness check. Liberty Prime, full system analysis. All systems, nominal, weapons, hot. Warning. Nuclear weapon payload depleted. Reload required. Warning. Power core offline. Running on external power only. Core restart recommended. Ability to repel red Chinese invaders compromised. Got green lights across the board here. He's looking good from where I'm sitting. Doctor, if you wouldn't mind keeping an eye on the big guy here, I'd appreciate it. Well, I have to admit, I wasn't sure we'd be able to pull it off, but Liberty Prime's looking pretty good. What was that he said about his power core? Prime's in top shape, but his nuclear engine needs to be restarted. Right now, we have him running off of the Pridwin's engines. Once I get that sorted out, We'll send him off to kick in the Institute's front door. Before you head off to your next assignment, I have something for you. I came up with this little beauty myself. I think it'll add a bit more punch to your power armor. You think I'll need it for my next assignment? I don't know, but it never hurts to be prepared. Anyway, that's enough of that. You better hightail it up to the Pridwin. Elder Maxson said he needed to speak to you as soon as you were done here. And thank you, Knight. Without you, none of this would have been possible. All right, here we are. Is 
there anything you wish to tell me, Knight? Am I being accused of something? That remains to be seen. Proctor Quinlan completed the decryption of the data you retrieved from the Institute. A portion of his findings included a list of synths that went missing or escaped from their underground facility. After careful analysis of the information, we've discovered something. Unprecedented. Paladin Dance is a perfect match for one of the scents on that list. Is Quinlan absolutely certain? Proctor Quinlan validated the information numerous times. I can assure you, his results are accurate. The data you brought back included a record of each subject's DNA. We keep the same information on file for all of our soldiers. Paladin Dance's DNA is a perfect match for a synth they called M797. To make matters worse, he's gone AWOL, disappeared without a trace. His sudden absence simply reinforces our conclusion that M797 and Paladin Dance are one and the same. I'm finding it difficult to believe that he never confided in you and then swore you to secrecy. After everything I've achieved, why would I jeopardize my position here? Huh. You make a fair point. Apparently, I've misjudged you, which means I've decided to take you at your word. However, that doesn't absolve you of your duty. Dance is a synth. He represents everything we hate. A monstrosity of technology. Our mission in the Commonwealth is clear. The Institute and its creations need to be destroyed in order to preserve our future. Which leaves me facing the most difficult order I've ever given. I'm ordering you to hunt down Dance and execute him. There must be some other way. Absolutely not. My decision is final. Listen, I'm not blind to the fact that Dance was your mentor, and this isn't an easy burden to bear. But if we're to remain strong, we can't afford to make exceptions. Even when it means executing one of our own. Find Proctor Quinlan. He's been analyzing the data and should be able to provide you with a starting point. And Knight, there's a promotion for you riding on the results of these orders. So don't disappoint me. You're dismissed. is strictly prohibited. Anyone who is engaged in such fraternization should report to Knight Captain Cade for immediate decontamination. Excuse me, Proctor Quinlan. Oh, that is all. Knight, I was told you were coming. Sorry about this business with Dance. What do you know about the situation? While I was decrypting all of the data you acquired from within the Institute, I came across a list. It appears that the Institute keeps exemplary records where their synths are concerned, including logging those that were reported missing. As I was perusing this list, I came across an image of Dance under the heading M797. A quick DNA comparison with our own records told the rest of the tale. I'm certain this comes as quite a shock to you, Knight. I'm sorry. He'll be missed. Doubtful. I wouldn't miss a synth any sooner than I'd miss a transistor radio. I was merely sorry that you'd been duped. No matter. I've been poring over Dance's duty reports, and unfortunately, I haven't found any concrete information. As you're well aware, Dance had intimate knowledge of the Commonwealth, and I'm afraid he could be seeking refuge anywhere. I think our best approach would be to identify every location he's ever visited and eliminate them as possibilities one by one. You may want to get comfortable. This could take quite a bit of... What the hell is this crap about Dance being a synth? I assume your outburst was a reference to some doubt regarding Dance's identity. I can assure you that my findings are quite accurate, Scribe. So he sets Dance up, and then you knock him down. Is that it? 
Well, if you hit him... There are no secrets in the Brotherhood. Maxon's made it clear that we're to locate Paladin Dance, and if we find him, report his location to you. That can only mean you've been sent to hunt him down. I think you should hit the scribe. I don't like your tone, Halen. My tone? Who cares about protocol at a time like this? I can't believe that after everything Paladin Dance did for you, you're just gonna turn your back on him like this. There's obviously been a mistake, and we need to get to the bottom of it. Scribe Halen, you're addressing a senior officer, and you will show her the respect that she's due, or so help me I'll have you brought up on charges. Now, unless you're here with information that can assist us, I suggest you return to the police station immediately. Of course. My apologies, Proctor. I believe I have some information that's relevant to the search. Very well, then. Would you care to enlighten us? Or do we have to wait until you decide to grace us with your knowledge? Knight, if you'd accompany me to the flight deck, I'd like to show you the information I've compiled firsthand. I've stored the data on my Vertiberg gunship's computer. I'll take anything that gets me closer to finding Dance. Yes, ma'am. Proceed, Knight. I'll continue doing my research here. If you'll follow me, ma'am. Quinlan is so smug. I would love to smack the smug off his face. Just, just beat him. Not like to death, but close. Just so that he wouldn't open his damn mouth around me anymore. I think that would make me very, very happy. And honestly, I would love to see Halen give him a good smack. I would love to see. I would protect her. I would totally. I would protect her, take her in, and let her live in my settlements. And now and then I'd bring her out just to smack him again. <laughs> Scribe Halen. So, are you ready to take on your first assignment? No, uh, I, I need more time. That's all right. Glitch? I understand. <laughs> Grab whatever you need and check back with me when you're ready. Scribe. Do you actually plan on killing Paladin Dance? Aren't you supposed to tell me where Dance went? Yes. And I promise I will. But before I do, I need you to listen to what I have to say. I've known Paladin Dance ever since I was an initiate. He trained me, showed me the ropes, and when I screwed up, he taught me to dust myself off and move on. He's earned my admiration, my respect, and my friendship. I don't care what Quinlan's report says. I don't care if he's a machine or not. He still dance. Why are you telling me all of this? Because someone has to before you rush off and carry out Maxon's orders without thinking about what you're doing. Dance is the most selfless person I've ever met. I've watched him risk his own life based on nothing more than principle alone. That's why I'm asking you, not just as a member of the Brotherhood, but as a human being, give him a chance. Let him tell his side of the story. If you're not convinced by what he says, or somehow he's become truly lost to us, then you do what you have to do. All right, I'll hear him out. That's all that I ask. I'll just have to trust that when the time comes, you'll do the right thing. Before the Pribwin showed up, Dance had me identify a fallback point if we ever lost the police station. It was listening post Bravo an old pre-war U.S. military outpost on the northern frontier of the Commonwealth. It's isolated, and we're the only ones that knew about it. So, there's a good chance that's where he's headed. Just be careful. There's no telling what state of mind he's in right now, or if he trusts any of us at all. Feel free to use this terminal to unwind.
I've disconnected it from Pridwin's mainframe, but keep it clean or I'm shutting it down permanently. If you've got a problem with that, keep it to yourself. Ingram told me about the wreck section under the main deck. I've contributed a few bottles of liquor and some cigarettes, but I don't have an endless supply. If you need refills, come see me and we'll do a trade. If anyone's up for it, I'm organizing a little nighttime feral hunt that's strictly off the books. I don't give a damn about the scents. These ghouls are disgusting and we need to keep thinning them out before they infest the entire commonwealth. I'm pretty sure we can start with the Cambridge Crater. See me if you're interested. That was Walmart. McLaren got his suit wiped out trying to drop from the top of Trinity Tower, so the current record holder is still Petrus, with his Pridwin to ground drop. Remember, no leg armor mods allowed. Just a clean jump with standard T60, and you have to be able to walk away. No exceptions. That's quite something. I don't remember who was asking, but someone was looking for Mirelurk eggs. On my last patrol, we swept through Neponset Park, and I saw a few nests, but Kells had me carrying a ton of gear. If you want to head out there, I'm sure you can pick up some of the eggs for yourself. Huh. That's a cute little computer. Then Kells is going to have me do a hundred push-ups. Really? Our vertebrates should give us the air superiority we need to win this war. Maxon's Terminal. Ooh. We've picked up some disturbing news regarding a rise in super mutant activity near the Commonwealth, and Paladin Hudson has bravely volunteered to single-handedly investigate. This mission will take the Paladin deep into hostile territory, so he'll need all the support we can provide. I'm having Tegan give Paladin Hudson an ample supply of the ammunition, and making sure Ingram certifies that his power armor is in peak condition. I'm also allowing Paladin Hudson full use of one of our Vertibird gunships, so I'll have one prepped immediately. Once everything is ready, I'll meet you and Paladin Hudson on the flight deck so we can give him a proper send-off. I can't stress to you enough how dangerous this mission will be, so it's imperative that we provide the Paladin with all the support we can muster. As requested, I'm providing you with all the current information we have on Recon Squad Artemis. According to our records, we sent them into the Commonwealth approximately three years ago to perform a standard survey beginning with the Malden area. We received a few reports from the team and then abruptly lost contact. Nothing in their communications indicated anything unusual. So we assume they've either lost the ability to radio us or have been killed. The, the squad consisted of seven soldiers under the command of Paladin Brandis, so they certainly had plenty of firepower. And the experience required to survey a deep recon mission. I have several recon teams searching for Artemis's whereabouts, but so far, they've been unsuccessful. As you know, in order to get the Pridwin rapidly to the Commonwealth, I had my engineering team pull her older power plant and replace it with an updated fusion plant that we pulled from that aircraft, aircraft carrier wreckage. I was able to squeeze almost 100% efficiency from the new reactor, but the system is burning through our coolant supply faster than expected. 
As we've been docked over the airport, I've been able to deactivate the main engines to cool down the reactor. But we're still eating up coolant when we're in hover mode. We're eventually going to hit a point where we'll run out of coolant. If that happens, we'll need to put the Pridwin on the ground. I desperately need your help if you want to prevent that from happening. I'll be certain to provide you with the details at our next briefing. As requested, I've sent over my evaluation of Proctor Ingram's capabilities in the field. In my professional opinion, Ingram is fully capable of handling field operations and would benefit any team fortunate enough to have her with them. Before the Pridwin left the Capital Wasteland, I spent six months helping her design the power armor frame that she's using to enhance her mobility. She's trained in the armor rigorously and is fully qualified. Actually, more than qualified to be placed with our ground troops. I've been treating wounded soldiers for almost two decades, and I've yet to see anyone that can match Ingram's level of commitment and determination. Confining her to the ship would be a waste of resources, and a damn shame. You'll be pleased to know that work on the armored reinforcement plating for your jacket is complete, and I'll be more than happy to send up a scribe to retrieve it when you're ready. The plating is fairly strong, but I think you'll appreciate how lightweight the entire jacket will feel once the modification is made. I've stress tested the plating, and it should help you resist different types of energy weapon fire, as well as most ballistic threats. After you try it on, let me know if it's comfortable to wear long term, or if I need to make any adjustments to the design. According to Proctor Quinlan, we have a serious security threat on our hands. There's a sizable stockpile of Fat Man shells being kept nearby at the remains of Fort Strong. More disturbingly, the facility is currently held by a super mutant contingent of unknown size. I'm certain I don't have to remind you that the super mutants are smart enough to utilize the weapons, and that the Predwin is well within a Fat Man launcher's range. I urge you to send someone down there immediately to deal with this threat before we end up as targets for their nuclear arsenal. I wanted to inform you that I'm having all of the Fat Man shells recovered from Fort Strong move from the armory runes to the lower cargo area of the Pridwin. This will ensure that the weapons remain protected as we prepare for our assault on the Institute. I'm pleased to report that our new recruit has returned from the Institute with a holotape full of sensitive data. I've given the tape to Proctor Quinlan so his team can begin decrypting the information immediately. As soon as we have any concrete information, I'll be sure to let you know. Now that the gantry is complete, Construction on Liberty Prime can begin. I've pulled almost my entire engineering team onto the project as well as some of Quinlan's scribes to assist with the complex calculations needed to get him on his feet. If our new recruit is successful, we'll have the rest of the parts we need to complete the project, and you can march Prime right up to the Institute's front door. I'm happy to report that Liberty Prime has been completed, and initial diagnostics of his operational capabilities are quite promising. 
Prime is currently running off of the Pridwin's engines, and we hope to have a solution for starting up his reactor core quite soon. Once the reactor core has been started, we'll be able to release him from the gantry and send him on his way. Sir, I've placed our entire division on alert as you've requested. I'm instructing our soldiers to shoot Dance on sight rather than trying to capture or contain him for study. I feel that it's important that we use his execution to set an example not only to our brothers and sisters, but to the Institute as well. While I'm aware that certain members of the Brotherhood were cl quite close to Dance, I'm certain you'll agree that we can't afford to allow him to remain alive. In his time with the Brotherhood of Steel, he's amassed quite a bit of intelligence on our operations. And we have to stop him before... Before he takes it back, probably. Yeah, the Institute throws the switch to bring him home. Well, it doesn't really work like that, does it? I mean, they have to send a courser. I would expect them to know that. I don't think I'll steal from Maxwell. Max and Maxwell. <laughs> Max and he looks like a Maxwell though. Give him a pair of glasses. He's annoying as fuck. Hold up, Knight. Let me make one thing clear. As a member of the Brotherhood, you serve under my command. If you want my respect, you will have to earn it. When I give you a mission, I expect results. Is that clear? Yeah, but you never gave me any. What are your orders, Captain? I want you to take charge of a recovery operation. The Brotherhood has been monitoring the Commonwealth for some time now. Ever since we learned of the synth threat, we've dispatched a number of reconnaissance teams. Paladin Dance's squad was far from the first. The previous team was dispatched three years ago. They never reported back. Officially, they're missing. Presumed dead. I'm sorry. You're sorry? Then you still have a lot to learn about the Brotherhood. They knew the risk. They faced it with courage. And we honor their sacrifice. We don't feel sorry for them. Your orders are to search for the missing recon team and recover their effects. Report to me with your results. Is that understood? Understood. Their insertion point was in the hills near Malden. Survey the area and establish a search pattern. Monitor your radio for distress signals. All recon teams are issued distress pulsers that put out a short-range homing beacon. Acquire a signal, and you should be able to trace it back to its source. That's all, Knight. Dismissed. What a dick. <laughs> green. Hull plating stable. Mm-hmm. He's in here somewhere. I'm coming. I'm coming to get ya. Well, the man was prepared.
I'm not surprised Maxon sent you. He never liked to do the dirty work himself. Why didn't you tell me, Dance? Because I didn't know. Until Quinlan got that list decoded, I thought synths were the enemy. I never expected to hear that I was one of them. If it wasn't for Halen, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. So, what are your orders? Does Maxon even want me alive? How could you not know that you're a synth? It doesn't make sense to me either. It just feels like a cruel joke. I remember being a child. I remember growing up in the ruins. Everything. I suppose they've programmed that all into my head. I mean, I feel like I've been in control of my entire life. Making my own decisions and determining my own fate. Even though the proof states I'm a synth, I don't feel any different than I did before. I still feel like a human. Why does any of this even matter to you? You're obviously here to carry out Maxon's orders. Does he even want me alive? No, but I'm hoping there's a way out. Don't be ridiculous. Look, I'm not blind to the fact that we're good friends, and this must be very difficult for you. I wish Maxon had sent someone else, but that doesn't change a thing. I'm a synth, which means I need to be destroyed. If you disobey your orders, you're not only betraying Maxon, you're betraying the Brotherhood of Steel and everything it stands for. Synths can't be trusted. Machines were never meant to make their own decisions. They need to be controlled. Technology that's run amok is what brought the entire world to its knees, and humanity to the brink of extinction. I need to be the example, not the exception. The empathy that you're showing me, it's a human emotion. I appreciate what you're trying to do, but I've made my decision. I'm ready to accept the consequences of my true identity. Maxon's ordered you to execute me, and I'll be damned if I'm going to stand in your way. No. I won't do it, Dance. I can't believe you'd risk your life just to keep me alive. Why would you do that for me? I've already lost my family. I don't want to lose my friend. You're right. How could I have been so blind? I should consider how my death might affect the people that care about me. People like you and Halen. Perhaps now that you've opened my eyes, I can consider my next move. Whatever you decide to do, I've got your back. Thank you, my friend. But I have my own path to follow. The only clear choice is for me to leave the Commonwealth. The sooner I make for the border, the sooner I put this behind me. Take my holotags. Use them to prove that your mission was a success, or Maxim will just send someone else to hunt me down. Now, come on. Let's get the hell out of here. How dare you betray the Brotherhood? It's not her fault. It's mine. I'll deal with you in a moment. Knight, why has this... this thing not been destroyed? still alive because you're wrong about him him dance is a demand it's a machine an automaton created by the institute it wasn't born from the womb of a loving mother it was grown within the cold confines of a laboratory flesh is flesh machine is machine the two were never meant to intertwine by attempting to play god the institute has taken the sanctity of human life and corrupted it beyond measure After all i've done for the brotherhood all the blood I've spilled in our name. How can you say that about You're the physical embodiment of what we hate most. Technology that's gone too far. Look around you, Dance. Look at the scorched earth and the bones that litter the wasteland. Millions, perhaps even billions, died because science outpaced man's restraint. They called it a new frontier and pushing the envelope, completely disregarding the repercussions. Can't you see the same thing is happening again? You're a single bomb in an arsenal of thousands, 
preparing to lay waste to what's left of mankind. Dance shares the same beliefs as the Brotherhood. Don't be so naive. How can you trust the word of a machine that thinks it's alive? A machine that's had its mind erased, its thoughts programmed, its very soul manufactured. Those ethics that it's striving to champion aren't even its own. They were artificially inserted in an attempt to have it blend into society. It's true. I was built within the confines of a laboratory. And some of my memories aren't my own. But when I saw my brothers dying at my feet, I felt sorrow. When I defeated an enemy of the Brotherhood, I felt pride. And when I heard your speech about saving the Commonwealth, I felt hope. Don't you understand? I thought I was human, Arthur. From the moment I was taken in by the Brotherhood, I've done absolutely nothing to betray your trust, and I never will. It's too late for that now. The Institute has foolishly chosen to grant you life. You simply should not exist. I don't intend to debate this any longer. My orders stand. It's all right. We did our best. You convinced me that I was wrong to be ashamed of my true identity, and I thank you for it. Whatever you decide, know that I'm going to my grave with no anger and no regrets. Touch it. Either you execute dance, or I will not. The choice is yours. After all the sacrifices I've made, and all the battles I've fought for the Brotherhood, you need to listen to me. You owe me that much. Very well. I'm listening. Whether he's human or not, Dance saved the lives of countless Brotherhood soldiers. Now it's time you saved his. You're a stubborn woman. So, it appears we've arrived at an impasse. Allowing Dance to live undermines everything the Brotherhood stands for. Yet you insist that he remains alive. Which leaves me with only a single alternative. Dance, as far as I'm concerned, you're dead. You were pursued and slain by this Brotherhood Knight, and your remains were incinerated. From this day forward, you are forbidden to set foot on the Pridwin, or speak to anyone from the Brotherhood of Steel. Should you choose to ignore me, know you'll be fired upon immediately. Do we understand each other? I do. Thank you for believing in me, Arthur. Don't mistake my mercy for acceptance. The only reason you're still alive is because of her. I'm returning to the Pridwin Knight. Take some time. Say your goodbyes. And then I expect to see you there. We still have the Institute to deal with. <clears throat> it took a hell of a lot of guts to stand up to Maxim like that. At least we know he isn't chasing you anymore. If you stay here, you should be safe. That's an excellent suggestion. I didn't plan on spending the rest of my days at this old listening post. But it will have to do. Besides, you're still gonna need my help. And I'll be damned if I'm gonna let you wander the Commonwealth alone. Now, you better get back to the Pridwin. In the meantime, I'll start making this bunker more livable. If you ever need me, I'll be right here. What about Halen? I don't think Maxon knew she was involved, so she'll be safe. I'll contact her and let her know what happened here. It's the least I could do. Are you gonna have a problem killing synths? I might physically be a synth, but my heart and mind belong to the Brotherhood. The Institute is still a tremendous threat to the Commonwealth. They possess technologies that need to be confiscated or destroyed. I promise you, I won't hesitate to pull the trigger on it. Goodbye, Dance. Farewell. I hope the next time we meet, it will be under happier circumstances. I don't think found you.
Reporting is ordered, Elder. Before we continue, I want to make one thing clear. This conversation will be the last time we speak about Dance. As far as the Brotherhood of Steel is concerned, he's dead. Do you understand? The Brotherhood must come first. Perhaps there's hope for you yet. Of course. Dance's execution creates a missing link in our chain of command. That traitor held quite an important position with us. I'm certain that you'll make a fine replacement. His quarters and all his possessions are now yours. Including his personal suit of power armor. Congratulations, Paladin. I won't disappoint you, Elder. Had I even a single doubt in my mind, I wouldn't have awarded you the promotion. Just be aware that a Brotherhood Paladin is expected to be a symbol of integrity to our brothers and sisters. I trust you won't disappoint them, or disappoint me. In any event, we still have the Institute to contend with, and a lot of work to do before we can begin our final assault. While the finishing touches are being put onto Liberty Prime, Captain Kells has identified a potential threat to our operations. Report to him immediately for your next assignment. Ad Victorium, Paladin. Reactor at 100% efficiency. 